I got out of college, I was graduating with a business degree, and you started exploring the employment opportunities for that. The salaries were not what I was interested in, and a, a good friend of mine said that her boyfriend was going to law school, and I'm, well, that sounds like something else to do. So I applied to law school and didn't know that I'd get in, but I did, and then um, became much more interested in becoming a lawyer once I was in law school and uh, completed it and became a lawyer. Uh, and I've enjoyed being one. I much more prefer the plaintiff side as opposed to the defense side, which is, I started off at. Representing insurance companies and businesses that have been sued or their insureds have been sued. So if, if you're in a car wreck you know, and it's your fault, you get sued, your insurance company hires somebody like me at the time, a defense lawyer, to come in to represent you in that litigation and in the end of the case, your insurance company pays its policy limits or whatever the jury says that they owe or they win. Met Carl when I was doing defense work and he offered me the opportunity to come over here. And I always had heard of him and, and respected him and, and uh, Wendell as well. And so they gave me the opportunity to come over here. That was very attractive to me. But, you know, looking back, you know, the defense part, when you get a good result in a defense case, you know, you've saved the insurance company money. Big whoop, you know, who wants to save an insurance company? There's no satisfaction personally from, from doing that other than you can win a trial, that feels good, but in the real world, you've saved the insurance company money. And whereas what we do here is help people, which is the best part of the practice. Mm -hmm.